coming up at Gothamites. This is Mr. Dark Phoenix here with the Holy Trinity here to bring you guys some more Gotham. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, please hit subscribe. I review Gotham, Lucifer, Supergirl, The Flash, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Arrow, Legend of Tomorrow, Teen Wolf is on this channel. My full playlist for Daredevil Season 2 is on here. Game of Thrones comes back on Sunday. I will be adding that to the mix because I cannot wait for Game of Thrones. And my weekly Wednesday theory show comes out every week where I discuss comic book news, opinions, previews, and wacky theories. And if this is the first time I'll be catching my channel, be wary. This is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen Gotham yet, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right on in to the newest episode of Gotham, Pinewood. If this episode wasn't centered around a crazy house where they make people with crazy animal things, it could have been a casino. Pinewood. The resurrection process continues. Let me tell y'all something. I'm about to buy Blue Gatorade by the, by the ass load. Because that's what that was. That was some blue Gatorade, and I'm about to buy me a lot. I think I got one in my fridge, so I'm just going to have it in a tub and use that for the Lazarus Pit. Ooh. Can they do Ra's al Ghul? I don't think so. It, it, it wouldn't be fair. Then they'd have to get Matt Nabel to do it, because, you know. If they put Liam Neeson on Gotham, the show is over, because that would just be so broken. Raptor Claw! I thought she had two, but she only had one. It was she had a raptor claw. And I'm like, oh shit. Oh god. Creature commandos again. <laughs> she had one raptor claw. I was, I <laughs> love her. I love her so much. Crazy Barbara has a plan. And I love me some Crazy Barbara. Like, the Maniacs was like the, the, my favorite thing about this season. And I love that Crazy Barbara is fucking crazy. Just throwing that out there. Oh, but Jim neglects Crazy Barbara. And she, like most of the other Batman villains, are now going to be crazy. And I hope she goes on a murdering killing spree. And it's all Jim's fault. Batman's villains had a bad day. They were, ne they, they were neglected, rejected, and they were still crazy. They were trying to be on the up and up. But you know what? This is, this is on Jim's head. Every, I hope she murders everyone. Like, I hope she goes on a killing spree. And just be like, how could you do this? You're not the same person you were. Who rejected her? Same thing with how Penguin went crazy again. You try to be nice and be on the up and up, and people just keep fucking with you. And you go crazy. That is Batman's rogues gallery in a nutshell. Or in a batarang, whichever you want to think about it. Oh, the Joker Feedy, that was hot. I got scared, though, because <laughs> when they flipped the truck over, I was like, fuck, it's Jerome. Fuck, he's back with a with a laughing clown vengeance. But it was it's Mr. Freeze. Cause they just talked to him earlier on in the episode. I was like, okay. And we got this Mr. Freeze, and then Raptor Claw sacrificed herself and got booped into a million pieces. So there goes our lead until we find that it was Hugo Strange that had his parents killed, and we're gonna go to that later on. And we're gonna go to Indian Hill, which is not good. Not good. Not good, Kappa. We're gonna die. And Asriel is born! I totally forgot about this subplot, I am not gonna lie. I was actually really excited when I found out, when I, when I, when I re-remembered re, re it. I was like, fuck, Asriel! He's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna have a sword next week? I hope he better be the two-parter. You cannot put somebody as badass as Asriel in one episode. He needs to be two parts or three or what for the rest of the season or whatever. And then don't forget to bring back Jerome. Do not forget. Because I loved him too. What did you guys think about tonight's episode? Please comment down below let me know. Be subscribed so you don't miss out on other great shows that I review. Like I said, Game of Thrones coming back on Sunday. I don't want you guys to miss out on that or anything else. Flash comes back for us, so I'll, be, so I'll be back on the track on that. So like I said, hit subscribe for all that awesome stuff. Give me a big thumbs up. Share it with all your awesome, nerdy friends. And always remember that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. I'll catch you guys next time for another great video.